Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to do a very, very quick video of what I've been up to. Um, a few different things I've been up to, a few things I've finished. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So, the last time that I did a video, I completed the blanket and I said I was doing a unicorn. Here he is. Um, the reason it's a he is because it's blue and I have, it's for the same person that wanted the blanket so I did all the hair in, in the same colour as the blanket. The only thing that I haven't done, so it's not really finished but it is, is the towel. Um, bear with me one second. The towel bits are actually blocking on my blocking board. Um, they have been there for a day, two days, um, but because she doesn't actually want the, the unicorn until I get back from holiday, because um, I did say to her that I probably won't be able to get it finished, but I didn't realise um, how quickly the blanket would take me and how quickly this would take me. Um, this took me literally just over a weekend, um, just because it was after it co cooled down a little bit. It's got really, really hot here again. Um, but yeah, so that is the u little unicorn all done. Um, I just used the stuff in, it hasn't really got a name, or is that the name? I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. But that is the stuff in that I've used. Um, still got quite a bit left, to be honest. That just stays up there. So I can just pull it down whenever I need it but <clears throat> I haven't stuffed it too much it's still um, squidgy and everything but it's for a newborn so I um, presume it's probably going to sit on the shelf or in his cot or something for a little while but that's that also if you follow me on <coughs> excuse me if you follow me on Instagram or on my Facebook page um, I know I started a pair of socks they don't really look like anything at the moment um, it's toe up and it is doing the um, Turkish cast on and I do believe that it's the same effect as the Judy's magic loop cast on um, as you can see you can't once that's been blocked but you won't be able to see the join. Um, I've never done magic loop socks before. This is on a circular. These are from eBay. Um, they're not really long enough to do the magic loop. I'm on the heel at the moment and what's it called? I can't remember what the heel is called. Um, but I'm watching a YouTube video of a lady and she's doing the, the title of the video is um, Toe Up Socks Two at a Time and the only reason that I followed that is to get the toe, the increase. Um, on her channel it does say to use 2.25 needles. I'm using, no, yeah, I'm using 2.5 needles only because my 2.25, now these are wooden, is split. Um, and it kept catching the yarn, so I've I'm the you the wool I'm using, and if you remember a couple of video well a few videos back, I did start a pair of socks, and it was in the Simply Crochet magazine. I frogged those, and I'm just using the same yarn. This is Patterns Soft Baby Fab Four Ply. Um, I call it Patterns, not Patterns. I don't know why it just. I've always called it that. Um, this is 100% acrylic. I know it's not perfect for socks, but I've never done socks before. I wanted to get in the rhythm of doing socks. So it's the only four ply that I've got. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. I've had this yarn for many, many years. My sister bought it for me. Um, I asked for a knitting bag one year. It was in Hobbycraft and it had little dogs all over it. And I said to her, I really like that bag. She bought me that and she filled that bag up with yarn. Um, 
and she bought me two balls of this. Um, I have got one other sock, but that was knitted on straight needles and it was like a knee high sock. So if I get on with this, this will do two socks, um, this ball of yarn. So I might frog the other one because it was too big. I did the pattern wrong, blah, blah, blah. I just kept the sock. I haven't frogged it. Um, and I might keep that yarn for something in the future. Um, because my sister gave it to me, uh, it, it's quite special. So I have got that. Um, so also in my last video, I did say about a project that I wanted to take on holiday with me. And this is what I'm going to take. Um, because it's small, because it's not going to be laying all over me, um, the needles are quite small, I thought this would be the perfect project. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting used to, I keep going backwards and forwards, I don't know why I'm a bit scatty today. Um, yeah, I'm just getting used to Magic Loop. And as you can see, you can see my join where obviously you're changing needles. Um, but to be honest, it's not really that bad. It's it just looked part oh, it just looked part of the actual pattern of the stitch. But as I said, it's my first time. Practice makes perfect. Really, really enjoying doing them. Um, so yeah, the only thing that I was really, really confused in the beginning is that I didn't know whether to do cuff down. I didn't know whether to do toe up. I didn't know what pattern to use, um, I didn't know what cast on to use, it was like so overwhelming, it was unbelievable. Um, but I do know that a lot of people alter their sock patterns and for the sizes of their foot, like the stitches, the length from blah blah blah. So what I'm going to do is knit this one, knit the other one exactly the same, see how I get on. I think this might be a little bit big. Just a tiny little bit big for me. This is a 64 stitches around, plus it's on a 2.5 mil hook uh, needle. But it's worth a try. I thought I would start it. I know I'm rambling on about this quite a lot more than I should. So this is my holiday project, and um, I'm going away on Tuesday, so this will be the last video before I go away. And I found a yarn shop where I'm going so there will be some bits probably being bought in that shop um, I did mention to Ian that these needles were um, quite short for what I needed so he said oh, are you taking that away and I was like yeah probably because it's quite small and he went well you can buy some in the, in the shop when we go when we go away and I was like oh yes so thumbs up I am probably gonna go in that shop and I will buy a few bits um, I am taking my um, laptop with me, I am taking the GoPro, obviously I will have my phone, so depending on what I buy in there, there may be a holiday yarn haul, um, so yes I'm excited, um, I just want to get there and go there straight away, I know that ain't going to happen, um, but yeah I'm a bit excited. Um, the next thing are sort of semi finished, um, I have a pair of sunglasses, and I'm fed up with them falling off my head and getting scratched in my bag and or because I haven't got a case for them I don't put them in my bag so I just put them on top of my head and that was getting on my nerves so I have a pair of sunglasses these are the ones I'm going to take away with me so I made a little case it has still got all the uh, loose ends because I was at Ian's mum's yesterday when I finished it but all I took was my hook and the balls of yarn that I was using so I didn't actually have a pair of scissors with me um, so I just broke the yarn and um, fastened off but I have used just scrap pieces of yarn and in pinks because I thought it would go with the pink on the arms and I have just done a drawstring not a drawstring but uh, a pull at the top so I can just pull that slip it in my handbag and I know they won't get scratched um, and I just alternated colors just how I that, obviously that is my join um, just how I felt like it um, 
nothing special I was running out of the light pink so I just did the top dark pink and then thought I'd do the the pool bit in a lighter pink so really pleased with that uh, fix fits my glasses nicely um, I just have to sew in the ends but fits my glasses nicely I thought that will be very handy also while I was there um, <clears throat> I did take my clear bag of odd balls with me just because that's what I put that, that in I had my glass these are the glasses I use when I am actually reading something or crocheting or knitting I can't crochet or knit without my glasses because I will be doing whatever I'm doing look up and everything's blurry um, so these are my go-to so I thought I'd make another one um, obviously this is a yarn that that was just double knit yarn with a 4 mil hook and I cast on 15 and single crocheted around that that chain um, and then went up the same for this one this yarn I've had I've still got a towel this yarn I've had for I don't know how long um, but yeah I really liked the blue and it, I only had a tiny little bit left and I thought this sort of yarn what are you gonna need a spare for this for so um, I didn't put a drawstring on the in the top of this one this one just so I can keep my glasses in it put it in my handbag um, when they go in there but yeah so the glasses are sort of there this is just a stitch mark that I had on with me while I was there but yeah so I thought they could go in my knitting bag so they don't get scratched I have got a hard case but I never ever put them in hard case um, so I thought I'd do a crochet one that's everything that I've done um, I will I might make another one of these before I go I don't know why um, but I'm thinking of taking another pair of sunglasses with me um, so yeah I just don't know what to do on our mirror this is where we keep our sunglasses um, I will show you um, without jogging you too much <laughs> um, a bit of glare but that is where all our sunglasses are and um, so yeah I've got a couple of more pairs up there and I've got a couple of pa I've, I've got loads of sunglasses um, I've got really big bug eye ones and all different um, that none of are really that expensive I just pick pick them up every now and again um, but yeah so I might make another one if I have time I'm gonna take the socks with me so I'm in no rush to get them started or, or whatever um, I'm probably gonna just write the rest of the pattern down watch the rest of the video write it down I have done that already on what I've done so far so that in the future I know to make it a little bit smaller or alter my stitches and so on and so forth um, but the unicorn really really pleased with and I will probably finish this when I get back because I'm just too hot at the moment um, <clears throat> it's absolutely it's not roasting but it's really muggy it rained um, like all of a sudden yesterday and it was really thundery and it's just made everything so muggy it's just not nice so but the next couple of days to tonight I'm working tomorrow morning I'm working and then um, Sunday that we're busy Monday I'm getting my hair done because look at the state of that uh, last night I got in the shower and I just literally plaited it up because I just thought I could not get the hair dryer out it's just too hot so I just plaited it up and I'll probably leave this in it's a bit fluffy today because I didn't really do uh, a great job but um, I'll probably leave this in till later um, just because I can't be bothered and I don't care but other than my roots um, they're getting done Monday so yes I'm gonna go pink again so it's come out a little bit at the root but it's fine it's not a problem um, I'm gonna stop rambling I said it was gonna be a quick video and it's not really but other than that <laughs> um, that's all I've been up to um, this will be the last video before I leave to go away I will be vlogging um, how much I don't know uh, we are taking the GoPro so 
I'll be vlogging bits and bobs. I don't know whether a vlog will be up while I'm there. I'm taking the laptop, but I don't know whether a vlog will be up while I'm there or when I'm back. Um, I may even do a little video or take a picture of the yarn shop that I go in, depending on uh, what they're like and if they will let me take pictures and things. So, yeah, I'm just really excited now. Um, I'm packed. Just a few more bits and bobs to, to do, so... Yes, I'm, get, I'm getting well excited. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, press that subscribe button. Um, I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.